Hello and welcome to my channel. I am trying out a new format and see if this is going to work a little bit better and a little bit easier for my lifestyle. So today I would like to talk about what every mom should be pursuing. And I know that there are so many things already that we're being told what we should be pursuing as moms, like clean and organized homes. Even more than that, Pinterest inspired homes. We should be pursuing healthy lifestyles and diets for ourselves and our families, or maybe even more than that. Uh, like a gluten-free, diet-free, diet-free, what? <laughs> Going after gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, cage-free, and grass-fed and everything. <laughs> oh, fat-free, sugar-free, protein-free. <laughs> No, but seriously, there are so many things that we can be pursuing and good, wonderful relationships for our friends and family, with our friends and family. And those are all wonderful things. But there is one thing that is not being talked about enough. And I think if moms pursue that, it will make um, their lives better. The thing that I think will make a difference in everyone's life is simplicity. And I don't make it sound um, as if I'm trying to find a lazy way out, but, but mom life is so complicated already, hey, that we don't need anything else added to our life. And simplicity is going to make life a lot better. We had an accident, we'll fall down. Fidesco, are you okay? Yeah, he says he's okay. All right. Let's go. Oh. Enjoying the ride. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and by simplicity, I mean exactly what it is. Trying to remove things as much as possible out of your life, out of the physical space as well as uh, mental space or like planning and workflows and those kinds of things. I'm not saying that you have to remove everything and have um, minimalistic in a I don't know, bad way of saying it, like you have to get rid of everything and not have any fun any things that you love that surround you. No, not at all. You do need to enjoy life and surround yourself with things that you love, but remove anything that doesn't bring um, good experiences to your life because life do have a lot of hard things, a lot of bad things, a lot of sad things that happen to us that we cannot control and things that we can control, we should keep to the best. So, what I'm going to propose to you is to look at everything that you are doing um, throughout your day, day or week, depending on how your life is structured. Because sometimes, at least for my life, I know that I'm doing a lot of the same things throughout the weekdays. And then on the weekend, I have a very different uh, schedule and a very different lifestyle. So I understand that that might be the case for you as well. So look at, let's say a week, because a week is a good way of um, evaluating your life. And list, maybe even write down all the things that you're doing. Cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, doing act kids, activities with kids. Um, doing client work, doing the work that you're doing um, outside of the home or in your home. Don't forget to include uh, your church activities if you're involved with those, your family gatherings or any other organizations that you might be participating with. And look at what exactly you're doing throughout those days and those times that you are doing things. And um, I would start with the thing that takes up the most time in your life and then go through the steps that you're doing, like the workflow of that activity and see what is it exactly that you're doing. Are those things 
that can, are there steps that can be removed from whatever you're doing and I am 99% sure that there will be steps that you can eliminate and you have to eliminate those because they're not necessary you just have to take a very careful look at what you're doing and what you're including and after you have the step that you have identified that is not necessary stop doing it and make a conscious decision to look at what you're doing for at least for a few times that you're doing that activity because we are uh, people are very habitual and we are doing things out of habit so sometimes we do get into this very ineffective way of doing things and we don't pay attention to what we are doing so I would say figure that thing out and pay attention for at least a week two weeks whatever it takes you to get used to the new uh, workflow and process of doing things and the same goes for the physical space if you see that you're not using a certain item in your life you will be very happy when you get rid of it and someone else will be very happy to take that uh, item to adopt it in their household and to use it when they're going to pick it up from Goodwill or yard sale that you're going to do or whatever um, donation spot that you're using those people will be very thankful that you decided to get rid of it and your household and your lifestyle is going to become better so for months I was trying to figure out what is this perfect planning system what is this perfect task management system this layout of clothing in my uh, wardrobe in my closet what is this system that is going to work for my life and nothing worked and now I see that it is decluttering physical space and simplifying all the processes in my life it is what is working you have to try it for yourself and see that it is like the best thing for moms and makes life so much better Did you know mama? Mama. So, dear mommies, I hope you try simplifying. I actually want to challenge you. Give yourself one task. Analyze it and see how you can simplify it. And after you're simplifying it, tell me, did it work for you? Did your life become just a little bit easier? Are you getting more things done? Are you feeling a little bit better? I think you will. And as promised, uh, that I will be sharing a bonus tip at the end of every video with um, what Bible talks about this issue. Well, I did not do my homework and I have not done research about what Bible talks about the simplicity. So I'm going to share something different with you. I'm going to share my favorite, one of my favorite verses in the Bible that comes from Luke. There's a book in the Bible, it's called Luke, chapter 6, verse 31. And it says something along the lines that do unto others as you would like them do unto you. So I try to remember this in everything I do in my life, even though I'm not succeeding in a lot of situations, but I try to remember. And um, that's why I'm doing these videos. Uh, that I would like someone to tell me what works in life so that I can be a better mom, a better working professional, a better wife, a better person, and a better everything. So I hope this helps to you and your life is getting a little bit better too. So if you have found this video helpful, Feel free to subscribe, like, or share this video with others. And if you have any other good tips that you think are making your life better, feel free to share them in the comments. And I would love, boy, I would love to hear what you have to say and have a little bit of a conversation. Bye now. Video says, "Kashi, bye bye." Bye bye. Bye bye. Руки помахать. Помаши ручкой. Обращайся хорошо. Bye bye.
Bye. Yeah. <laughs>